Back from the dead? Well, apparently Castlevania Grimoire of Souls is. This was a mobile-only game that was announced around like 2018 and it was released to Japan markets and PAL markets and eventually made its way to North America in the form of Canada. In fact, if you go to the Google Play app and look, it says Castlevania Grimoire of Souls and it says this item is, isn't available in your country. Uh, this application suspended its services from September 9th, 2020. Now, look, we could talk all day about how it's a bad move that Castlevania is releasing a mobile-only Castlevania game. Uh, they recently released a Contra mobile game, and, eh, you know, it's not bad, but it's totally one of those gotcha type of games. And maybe that's the reason why they canceled this game. I haven't played it, so I don't know, so maybe whoever has played it can comment on this. But supposedly, it... I don't believe that it had any major, major gotcha sort of app features. Uh, there were some, but not a ton. And I'm wondering if Konami pulled it because they wanted to implement these more. Anyways, there's a new article that was just released, uh, a new announcement on Twitter uh, via Apple Arcade. And the Konami Twitter team retweeted it, basically saying that Castlevania is back. Uh, Grimoire of Souls was announced as an Apple Arcade exclusive. Why? I don't know. Uh, but this game, I mean, look. Do I have an iPhone? Yes. Is it a phone that I use all the time? No. Uh, this is the first time I've literally picked up this phone in probably uh, four to five years. Uh, this is a test device that I use very, 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 very rarely for my job. And so now... I gotta figure out how to play this game, if it's even worth playing. So I'm curious about what you guys think about this. Uh, you know, Grimoire of Souls is a game that really had a nice art style, like really top notch. I really enjoyed uh, looking at some of the, the wallpapers and, the, and some of the pictures that were posted, and even some of the trailers that came out for Grimoire of Souls. I mean, it looked pretty cool visually. But it also didn't look like there was a lot to do in the game, gameplay-wise. So I gotta wonder, what exactly have they changed? And why make it Apple exclusive? I don't know. Especially since the Contra game released on Google Play. And yet, not the Castlevania game. I'm not really a mobile gamer anyways. Uh, most of the mobile games that I do play, from time to time, I play the Crash Bandicoot game. That's a really good Crash on the Run. Uh, the Sonic uh, game. I forget what it's called. It's like one of those Sonic like Temple Run type games. That one's kind of fun. Uh, the Contra game, which I just recently downloaded, is pretty cool. But, uh, you know, it you could tell playing a lot of these games that they are specifically designed to make money. That's their whole goal. It's not just advertisements. Like, they hit you with the ads, but then they also hit you with, hey, spend some money, spend money here, spend money there. And I get it, it's a free app, so you're trying to make your investment back. I totally understand that. Me, personally, I do not spend any money on mobile games. I just, I don't feel that mobile gaming is a feasible thing to spend money on knowing well in advance that it is going to be canned, canceled, the server's going to shut down, so you're not going to be able to enjoy your investment in the game. Uh, sometimes, a lot of times, they just completely remove the game uh, from your, uh, like, like you won't be able to connect to the server, so therefore you can't play the game. So I'm very curious if people are going to download this, knowing it's a mobile-only game, knowing that it was canned, and then they brought it back, and, and I'm curious to see what's been changed in Grimoire of Souls. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Are you going to pick this game up? Are you going to download it? Or do you, are you bummed that it's Apple exclusive? Are you going to go get an Apple device just to play it? Let me know down below. Constructive comments always appreciated. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys later with more Castlevania news.